There are many ways we can classify living organisms. In this lesson, we'll study the classification of living organisms according to the number of cells they have. Living organisms could be unicellular or multicellular. The word uni basically means one or single. Unicellular organisms are just single cells. They are single-celled organisms and they carry out all of life's processes within one cell. Unicellular organisms are very independent. They carry out life's activities on their own. Amoeba, Euglena, Chlamydomonas, and Paramecium are examples. Next are multicellular organisms. The word multi means more than one or many. This means multicellular organisms are composed of more than one cell. Humans, for example, are composed of trillions of cells. All of the cells in multicellular organisms may not be exactly alike. Some are further differentiated to serve a particular role or function. But cells that serve a particular role or function tend to look alike. Multicellular organisms include volvox, which exists as a colony. Hydra is another multicellular organism. Birds, rats, flowering plants, and sponges are also multicellular. So you now know what unicellular and multicellular organisms are. There's still more to learn about cells, so stay close, guys.